Uh, my name is Patrick Doherty. I'm a sculptor. I'm here in Highlands, North Carolina at the Bascom. I'm working on a big spiral. The spiral has these large kind of face-like uh, elements that uh, that uh, make constitute the, the surface of it and each one of these elements has a kind of a mouth doorway and a set of eyes. So these that, that will allow the viewer to come up and walk immediately through this, take the spiral or go through any number of, of uh, openings to get other places and to do this kind of exploration uh, within the sculpture. Well, sometimes they break on you. We've got all kinds of varieties of sticks here. So this is a witch hazel and it's pretty flexible, but if you push it too far it's going to break. Part of it is knowing just where it goes. Well, there, there are lines with which we'll to build a bird nest, but there are also lines with which to draw. So you're going to use all of these, the, the linear properties of this stick, uh, bigger sticks, smaller sticks, everything you can do with a pencil and the marks you make, those are the same kind of marks you deal with when you deal with sticks. <laughs> I would say during the course of the sculpture, maybe a hundred people have volunteered to work on it, uh, sometimes in two and three hour shifts, and sometimes we've had some real regulars who've uh, really helped with the building of the piece. Well, you know, I, I work with sticks all the time, and I think of myself as a sculptor. And what I discovered early on that was sticks have an inherent method of joining. If you bend a stick, you it you can bend it, it flex it, and pull it through a matrix and let it go. It holds itself in place and sticks entangle easily. So that's really the easiest method of joining. So I've employed that and, and, and will employ that in building this piece. I've been working about 25 years. And so I should know something about sticks. <laughs>